Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Subnautica. Holy cow. I just took five minutes between recording the last episode and recording this episode, and I went and walked into the other room, and I told my wife, I am recording an incredible fucking game right now. What is happening? Subnautica is beautiful. Uh, we're three episodes in, uh, which is a great time to be realizing this, because... Uh, we have so many episodes ahead of us. Uh, I'm gonna step up top real quick, and that way. In the last episode, Lipod 3, Shallows, crews reported their sea glide damage. It's 300 meters away. We're going. We're going straight there. I don't need anything else. We're just going straight there. In the last episode, uh, we received a radio call that, oh, the creep clusters are this way. Interesting. This is like, uh, east-ish, I think, in my mind. I have no idea what... Shape is what? Let's grab a creep, a creep, a, cre a creep, uh, cluster while we're, while we're on the way. Um, oh no. Oh no, there's big boys there. Oh no, 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 no. Never mind. I'm not going that way at all. There are big boys there. I don't know how big that was, but there were. Okay. I'm going to right there. Oh, maybe they're small. I can't tell if they're far away or if they're terrifying. Or, uh, uh, if they're big. Or if they are just far away. Okay. Anyways, we're headed this way. Uh, I got one. Thank God. So our inventory is very full. Um, we are going to have to figure that out here in a second. But first... 70 meters away. Crew reported their sea glide damaged. Okay. No bad boys. No bad boys. Let's get some oxygen. And then let's figure out what the heck is going on here. Hello? Oh, there's a... Oh, no. No. Compass? Okay. New blueprint acquired. No. What? We just heard a radio message. There's a message here. Okay. Life pod three crew log. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell are rigged to this Did they blow themselves up? up? You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. What? Okay, hold up. Okay. Life pod three crew log. Unidentified unidentified crew one and two so there's two people a rigged rigged power cell to a sea glide which is the thing that we saw which has to be from the name like a a like scooter underwater i don't know like a, a underwater scooter is that what they're called what 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 emergency a quantum detonation what? has occurred in the aurora no the reactor will reach us it's all happening speed. what minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, holy shit Sound. oh no Oh no. For your convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. It's actually really quiet. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. What the heck? Why did it get so why did it get so quiet? Um the voice is, is low, I guess. We'll turn it up a little bit. That may be too loud. We have a radiation suit now. Oh my god, no! What is happening? The suit fully protects against the effects of radiation during land, sea, and space exploration. Safety rated up to 400 SV per hour. 
cross compatible with all AAP suit functionality sleek a post MAD world post mutually assured destruction world oh that's a great reference um so you're telling me so what I have too many questions right now question one there's no way anyone survived that right there's no way question two where are the survivors here Oh, there's a big boy. Increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. How do I do that? What is a self scan? What does that mean? Uh oh. Bacteria levels? Compass, by the way. Copper and wiring kit. Okay. We have got to get moving on some of this uh, building. Wire kit. Wire kit. Wiring kit is silver. Okay. So hold up. Is that a sea glide? Sea glide fragment, son of a bitch. So did they just, did they kill themselves? Did they blow themselves up? Can I go down through this hole? Uh, let me back in. Did I miss anything in here? I think they blew themselves up. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking nope, fucking nope, 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 nope. Nope, I'm out of here. Nope, I'm never coming back. Is this marked? I don't think it's marked. Is it marked? I I want to leave and I want to never come back. What the hell? It's it's I, it says it's here. If I move it orange, if I step away a little bit, will it continue to come back? Dude. Fuck that. Oh my god. I don't see it. So I think I. So here's what I'm not talking through very well because i'm very scared that scared the crap out of me i need to take some food uh i want to leave and i want to never come back very specifically and i think the way i do that is by uh oh these all take a lot of my h2o getting absolutely everything that i need from here and then getting back out and i think i want to check one more time if i die i die all right let's go Oh, there's just a- this is still in there. He's still in there. Okay, we're done. We're leaving. <gasps> there's another one. All right. Fuck it. I'm out. Nope. I'm never coming back. This is the end. Y'all can have it. I'm never- What the heck? <laughs> oh, the panic. I've never felt so scared in my life. Is that a stalker flying through the air? What's happening? We had two very peaceful episodes, and now all of the sudden, a hoop fish. All of the sudden, people who aren't, people who, people aren't alive who should be, or at least they're not here. I don't know that they're dead. I haven't seen them. The ship blew up. I'm radi irradiated. There's bacteria in the water. Things are coming to the surface. A stalker just flew through the air. The only reason I know it's a stalker, by the way, for some reason, in the moment where it was hitting me in the forehead, the text appeared on screen and I thought, oh, it's a stalker. <laughs> right after I thought to myself, I'm gonna fucking die. All right, uh, we should craft some stuff and then we should think about the decisions that brought us to where we are today. So I don't think we actually want to make food the minute we get it because it, it decomposes. Or it turns old. So let's exit out of that real quick. Uh, if I take a water and then I eat some of these decomposing, it's barely worth it. Dude, that's barely worth it. Plus four food, negative 14 H2O. Vital signs stabilizing. Decomposing cooked uh, peeper. I'll do it, but I'm not going to be happy about it. Vital signs stabilizing. We need more water. All right. Um, how is water the thing that I'm missing? By the way, do I have one of these? Use that. Radiation suit, fiber mesh, and lead. We have so much that we need to do. Uh, okay. Make more water because we're gonna need a ton of it. And then I guess let's get to work. It said that I need to self-scan. I don't know how to do that. Did we see? We saw a scanner in the inventory, right? 
Uh, equipment. Scanner. I, I scan myself? I think we can make some things right here. So let's grab some stuff out of here. Uh, get rid of the floaters. Grab the med kit. I should probably have one on me at all times. Uh, use some of the water. Grab some. We already have some copper. We have titanium. I don't think we need anything else necessarily. Uh, maybe a couple of those. Metal salvage. I don't know what I do with that. It's just taking up so much space in my inventory right now. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Oh, buddy. I do not know. Um, <laughs> this bladder fish in my hand. Uh, let's make another water, I guess, while we're here. And then... Try and figure out a piece of equipment. I can make an O2 tank. I could make a survival knife. We should probably do that, right? Let's do... Okay, first things first. First things first, we should make this. Scanner requires a battery, so make a battery. Uh, they told me to scan myself. I'm going to do that first. I trust the game. Power cell has been made. Tool. Scanner. All right. I'm going to figure this out. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. We have metal. We have metal scrap. Is that what I use it for? Uh, hold up. So that's one and two. So two. Self scan F. Self scan F. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Okay. So. Self scan trace amount. So just barely. Sorry. My <laughs> There's so much that I'm trying to wrap my head around right here. Uh, so barely any foreign bacteria. And I don't see like a bar on it or anything. I honestly wondered if like a bar would show up that would tell me my bacteria levels and I would have to worry about that. We should make a radiation suit. Uh, vehicles. Sea glad. Yeah, it's an it's a ocean scooter. That's what it is. Mobile vehicle bay. Fabrication. What in the actual? There's no way. I'm not even going to look at this stuff. I'm going to overwhelm myself. I'm going to get overwhelmed. I can't look at it right now. I can't look at it. All right. So a power cell is batteries and silicone. I need to make a radiation suit next, I think, right? Uh, fiber mesh and lead. Neither of which I have. Or know how to make? All right, sweet. So never mind about that. Um, maybe a flashlight. I don't know. Equipment, first aid kit, fins. We wanted to make fins. Silicone rubber is made. How again? <laughs> right there. The creep cluster things. Okay. Slowly but surely. Um, can I make that yet? I think I needed one more, right? No, I can. Incredible. Let's put fins on. The fabricator I've... draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. <laughs> Wait a second. So that implies, okay, okay. Uh, environment appropriate equipment. So that means I can't make, I can't make myself like something that would not be appropriate for this environment aka like a dune buggy uh okay sure i guess that's fair the fins auto equip that's great i can move a lot faster oh i think o2 tanks auto auto equip too because this is o2 right here i can't tell what's behind this it looks like hands suit maybe a visor uh all right so o2 tanks would allow me to go deeper that's what she... Uh, okay, so... I have more titanium right here. If I take that, I think I have enough to make a O2 tank. 
Is that right? Holy cow. We're going to be incredible at this here in no time at all. But for now... I can make titanium out of metal salvage. Okay. We want to make more silicone, I believe. Uh, so the... Okay, so the big metal, these are these are titanium. Oh, dude, let's just... Uh, we probably don't want to grab all of them. Let's grab one more and make it into titanium as well. That way we can use titanium. I guess. I don't know what it's used for. Maybe the habitat. I bet the habitat is built out of titanium. That would make the most sense. Uh, can I make anything now? Um, fins? O2 tank. Incredible. Let's do it. What else? High capacity O2... My O2 went up 275. Acquired. I don't know what from, but it did go up. I don't know what this means. Starting point for a pipe chain. I don't get that. I should probably make a locker. I'm going to make a couple lockers, at least one locker. We'll put that outside. Do I should I have a survival knife? Multifunctional? I don't know. Let's we got enough things right now. Let's go outside and use this scanner. I think I probably am going to get to use it on a self scan again. So this O2 tank is actually 30 seconds of oxygen. So it refills itself because I went down at 72 I come back up at 75 incredible all right cool so can I scan any of these oh hold it okay writhing weed acid mushrooms I mean I, I guess I'll just be back I'm gonna I'm gonna scan things for the next half hour just hold the button, run around, click stuff. Dude, sea glide, sea glide. Is this going to give me a, a overall progress 50%? I know where the other one was, is, but I'm not going back there. No way. What? Okay. All right. So this is so much to process, but I'm having the time of my life. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm having truly the time of my life wait a second so does disinfected water microorganism free so i have to filter my water i have to bleach it a couple drops of bleach oh snap because of the bacteria indigenous life forms flora acid mushrooms common spore bearing fungi species so when you said acid you didn't mean like drop of the dropping variety you meant okay i understand acid is in like lithium ion batteries okay great love it well, writhing weed has nothing has no purpose okay so i love that this says non-vegetarian <laughs> I just realized this says non-vegetarian for filtered water because you have to turn a fucking bladder fish into one. All right. Uh, wow, I'm fully lost. We should put this thing down. Drop? Oh, shit. Did that just drop, drop? Are you going to float? Open storage. Uh, okay, sure. It works. Um, We should toss floaters on it? Can we do that? I was going to put the floaters in it. Can we put a floater on you? I don't know how to do this. Pack up. What does that mean? What? Hold up. I don't think I'm doing this right. Pack up. I think it is floating. I don't understand floaters exactly. Uh, we'll just get rid of those. Okay. Gas pod. 
an acidic compound produced by the gazo gasopod may be repurposed. So that's the thing that we, uh, that shoots out the, the, it's the lightning bug, but animal. There's so much to learn. All right, so let's go back east. Uh, I got to get this sea glide thingy. I think what happened was that I technically, that's what I was opening this menu for. It's, 30 seconds, uh, uh, three minutes ago. I think I technically, yes. So I think I have to scan the item fragment to make the item. Oh my God. The sheer amount of items in here. So we need that other one and then we'll have it. Coral shell plate. Sure. I think we'd we already know. Uh, giant coral tubes, sure. Sure, sure. Do I get bonuses for knowing everything? As always, these are all rhetorical questions. Uh, we're doing this playthrough blind. I don't know if you've heard, but we're doing this playthrough blind. So, if you have a desire to answer those questions for me, that's really sweet of you. On the other hand, uh, just let me, uh, let me puzzle through myself. It's more fun for all of us if... Uh, if we, if I just puzzle through this myself, creep vine. God, it's creepy. It is truly because I'm a creep. Fine. Oh, I probably should have scanned that. All right, this is where we saw the big boys, so we should probably be safe here. I also don't know where the beak, the beacon went for. I swear this seems like it should be visible right oh it is right there holy shit oh okay hey can i scan you big boy lightning bug butt boomerang come here oh yeah. i'm a scientist great how about you oh you guys got weird noses Ga gazopods gazopods keep missing oh <laughs> uh, you made me ink <laughs> that's all i could think about ah what i'm on fire oh i just got farted on all right never mind uh uh you made me ink <laughs> so, anyways uh i can't scan pieces of the ship I wonder if these are different pieces than the uh, grav trap fragment. Progress 50 out of a uh, 50%. <gasps> Wait. Did I just see a big boy? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Can I scan you from here? Oh, man, I can already tell. We're going to have major problems with these episodes. The main problem being that I am not going to realize that I've spent 20 minutes doing something. And then all of a sudden, the, uh, just scared me. <laughs> the episode's basically gonna be over. I just, I keep getting scared by these creep pods. Uh, right here. All right. Also, what is this? Nobody come here. Nobody come here. Nobody come here. Metal salvage. Scattered wreckage. Okay. Do I need to do more than that or just the one? It made it sound like just the one. Is there still a guy in here? <gasps> no. Oh, this is terrible. This is the worst case scenario. Seventy percent, seventy percent, eighty percent, ninety percent. You're done. Can I grab you? Can I stab you with my knife? I need in there. I actually don't, I guess. I think the scanner thingy is outside. Wait. Oh, that's the Oh buddy. Sea glide. I just tossed my flare. Pick up flare. Get the fuck out of here. Get the actual hell out of here. Get the hell out of there. Oh my god. Okay. I don't like that guy. So, did we fully make the battery lubricant copper wire? And I thought I didn't need lubricant for anything. Titanium. Okay. I don't think that does. that's that hard. Grav trap, by the way. Oh. 
Okay. I need food. I need water, technically. And also food, I guess, but... Food is negative eight? What? Ah, oh, dude, it's rotten. They do age. Shit. Huh. Well, now we know, I guess. You don't want to turn them into food until right before you're actually going to use them. Okay. Our, uh... Our fins are moving us pretty well, by the way. We should take a look at this geological data. Data. However you say it. Scattered wreckage. Analysis confirms this wreckage is from the Aurora. Outer layers of the material have oxidized, suggesting it's been heated to over 1,200 Celsius. This pattern is consistent with hull disintegration during atmospheric entry. Salvage of uh, intact portions of Altera vessels is prohibited at legal, moral, and technical levels. Scraps such as these may be reclaimed for their titanium content at any Altera fabricator. Okay. Coral, shell plate, and giant coral tubes. I'm not going to read everything forever, I don't think, considering I think I can scan almost anything, but the coral seems interesting. Close proximity to other coral, filtering nutrients from the water. Uh, the big coral tubes have... This is exploitable in bleach fabrication. I hate how they say exploitable. Ugh. Bleach fabrication, okay. I don't honestly remember uh, what we, if we have bleach already, um, what do we need? We need bleach for uh, for water, for better water, for vegetarian water. Um, okay, Stalker, a streamlined pet predator encountered in the kelp forest in weight of prey, leaving the safety of the shallows to feed. Okay, so anytime we get creep vines, I think. The game seems to be, and it, it mentioned very early on, my take is... The game seems to be very, like, like, uh, ecosystem-minded. In that, like, in certain areas, you get certain plants, certain animals, based on the, its attitude so far. Um, appears to be attracted to di titanium deposits, which tends to sharpen and put stress on its teeth. Teeth are hard and fast-growing. Night vision... Dorsal ridges, pelvic fins. Stalker teeth may have applications in enameled glass fabrications. Fuck. No way. Gazepod. Gasopod. It's a herbivore. Okay, so I don't have to worry about this guy. He eats a lot of stinky spinach. He farts out toxic shit. Uh, okay. Noxious acid clouds. Yep. An, al an algae gland. Okay. Behavior, social in nature, even use their emissions in the relationship rituals. You mean I got covered in gazepod? Never mind. Approach with caution. Acidic pods may be retrieved and repurposed. Yeah, so you can like sneak up on them. I got I grabbed a, ga a gazepod the other day. Gazepod. I don't know how you say it. Boomerang is edible. Peeper is edible. Further research required. Okay. Why do they look like they have eyes on the side? Are those actual eyes? They're eyes. Oh my god, that's creepy. I wish I didn't know that. Damn it. I wish I hadn't read this. It's able to close its eyelid, preventing light from reflecting off the lenses. Ooh, making it invisible. Ah, it has a beak. Yeah, that's what I thought. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, well... I guess... Is it the radio? Oh, shit. That's the radio. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go home. It's nighttime anyway. It's almost nighttime anyways. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have a chance to hear what the radio has to say. But, oh, there's the big boy again. But, uh, we'll take a look at it in the next episode, I'm sure. My god, the amount of stuff that we have to do. I really want to try and make a sea glide ASAP, though. Uh, I think that would be, I think that would be a lot of fun. It feels like an accomplishment to have gotten. Oh, there was a stalker there. I thought I heard the noise. It feels like an accomplishment to have gotten the blueprints. And so therefore I feel like I really want to make, uh, I really want to make one. 
just listening for a second to the music. And the sounds. There's so many sounds. Oh, buddy. Now that I can breathe for longer, I don't feel as scared. All right, we're going to hop up here and call it a day. Thank you so much for watching this episode of our Subnautica blind playthrough. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I have definitely been enjoying it. I cannot wait to record more already, but unfortunately, I have to call it for the night. And therefore, we, we must call it for this episode. If you enjoyed any part of this, uh, I would appreciate a like or a positive comment down below. It helps with the algorithm. I would just say otherwise... If you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name's Ryan. I play all kinds of games. I play a lot of them blind because I gamed, I came to gaming really late uh, in life. Uh, there may be some other games out there that I've played that you would enjoy. It looks like a butterfly. We're going to hit escape and save. Thanks so much for watching. Truly, thanks for spending the last 30 minutes with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST on the YouTube channel. Until then, bye bye